Hi and welcome students. In today's Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to be going over personalization options for your Windows 10 PC. I'm going to cover the color settings for your taskbar and applications. You could follow along with me if you'd like. Let's get started. First off, I'll take a look at my desktop here and I want to adjust my personalization options. These are things that I've gone over in my Windows 10 playlist before, but never in regards to the color scheme. Let's get started by right clicking anywhere on a blank spot on your desktop, then go to personalization. When you click personalization, it'll open up the settings application and I've maximized mine to full screen. Now you'll see the personalization menu on the left side and I've went over how to change your desktop background before, but I haven't gone over your desktop or your colors right here. And your colors will show up right here and you'll get a sample. All right, now yours may look a little bit different from mine already because I've customized mine already a little bit before I did this tutorial. And so what we could see here is the taskbar down at the bottom of the preview, the start menu on the bottom left of the preview, your desktop background in the background of it, and finally this area that says sample text, which is just your applications. This could be any application that you have open. So let's go ahead and uh, see what these customization options do. First off, down here you'll have choose your color and I'll hit this drop down arrow and I'm going to choose light to begin with and take a look at how our preview as well as my actual uh, desktop appearance changes. I'll click light. There we go and you'll see that this makes it so that <clears throat> the taskbar down at the bottom is now a lighter color. The start menu if I press it is a lighter color as well as the application itself, which you can see on the settings menu, is now a lighter color, all right? Now, this option may hurt your eyes a little bit if you're in a dark room or uh, it's dark outside or something like that. Uh, and you may find this option to hurt your eyes a little bit. And if that's the case, you could hit this drop down arrow and choose the dark option. The dark option, when I change that, you'll see my screen will start to change here. And this one here has a uh, black taskbar or a dark taskbar down at the bottom. The start menu background is now dark and the application itself is now dark. Now this is a good setting if you're in a darker room because this won't hurt your eyes as much, but it does become harder to see the difference in text sometimes. And sometimes the backgrounds and borders don't appear as uh, easily to see. So you may want to go with some sort of custom option, which is right down here. And if you click custom, you'll see it allows you to change the individual settings for each one down below. So I'll choose custom here and show you what this does. This says choose your default windows mode. It's currently set to dark. If I change this to light, you'll see that this leaves the applications dark, but makes your taskbar light as well as the start menu is light. Switching it back to dark, we already know what that looks like. Now let's choose the default app mode. This, as you could expect, just changes the application. So by changing these both to light, it'll change the color setting to light. By changing these both to dark, it will change the settings to dark. All right, and there we go. Uh, next up, you'll see a transparency effect. I'm gonna uh, change my settings to uh, light for my app mode and dark for the Windows mode. This is the setting I prefer uh, because it gives me a nice uh, different color scheme. Oops, sorry about that. I accidentally clicked back there. Let me reopen that. Um, this gives me a nice differential between the color scheme of my applications and my um, taskbar down at the bottom. So I choose dark for windows and light for the default app mode. Down here you'll see transparency settings and if I turn these off you will see that this basically turns transparency off. So before where I could see a little bit of the background in the taskbar now I can no longer see that. I'll turn it back on to see what that looks like and you'll see by transparency on and it shades this a little bit so I could see in the background if there was an application here. All right. Uh, also, you'll see if I start the start menu, it does the same thing. Down here, you'll see your accent color. I'm going to choose a very bright color here so we can see what that does. If I click bright yellow here, for instance, for the transparency color, you'll see on our preview, it adds a yellow border around applications. It also adds 
yellow to uh, the individual applications in the start menu. I don't have any of these tiles, so it doesn't really show that. Uh, I've hidden those, but you can see down here at the bottom, each of the applications that I have open have the yellow accent below them. So typically I choose the default blue color here, but you can choose whatever color you find uh, helpful for you or whatever your favorite color is. Finally, you could go here to custom color and you can see that you could choose really any color that you want from here and you can even click more and specifically change your red, green, blue to a, maybe something that you like, maybe your favorite color there. So you could change that with the custom color as well. Finally, the last two things down here, you have accent colors on the following surfaces. I'm gonna change it back to this bright yellow real fast so that we can see the difference once we do this. If I click the checkbox for start, taskbar, and action center, you'll see that it adds an orange or a yellow hue to my taskbar itself as well as the applications. And then um, you'll see on the start menu, it changes that to this bright yellow or orange color. Okay, I'll turn that off real fast and then I'll see title bars and window borders. Okay, and you'll see that'll add it to the top up there and it also adds it up. Oh, I don't have any of those tiles, but it would have added it to the tiles if I did. It also adds it to the individual things within my app, some of the text. So you have lots of options here. I typically turn this off. I go with the default blue. I do leave transparency on and I do light for the default app and dark for the default Windows mode. And so those are the settings I prefer, but part of personalization is choosing the settings that you prefer. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you figure out what some of those settings might be for you and make sure you give them a try on your own computer. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have interest in seeing any more Windows 10 tutorials, I have a playlist that ranks all of my videos in difficulty from just starting out all the way to more advanced users. So have a, uh, a look at that playlist if you have time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Other than that, if you have a question, put it into the comment box below and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching.